colleges and universities. Some of you are planning to go to one, some of you are in one, and some of you have gone to a college or university or some other secondary schooling. And if you live in a country like the United States or some other, you know, Western country, it's pretty much mandatory or expected of you that you go to a college or university after you graduate high school. I, I don't think that it's really a good thing that, that a lot of, a lot of people nowadays really advocate for that because I think it's actually not necessary. And I think that a lot of people shouldn't be actually going to, going to a college or university. They may be listening to me and thinking, well, this guy's insane. You know, he's saying that like, I don't need to go to college. To, like, I'm not going to get, like, I'm not going to get a job, bucko. And to that, I would say, you're wrong. You can get a job. In fact, I would say it's easier than you expect. Um, although, you know, there is some chance that like there are, you know, probably like a minimal percentage that you'll get hired, um, or not get hired over some of the college degree. But in reality, college, I would say is actually, not a good choice for a lot of people. And maybe asking ask yourself, well, why? Why is it not a good choice? And some jobs just don't require a college degree. I can think, like, for example, a trade. A trade is a good, solid job that doesn't require a college degree. Or another big one, huge one, is technology. If you're going into IT or software or anything like that, I will guarantee you that you can probably get just as far as someone with a college degree if you just have if you if you just have a high school diploma lots of employers don't actually look especially in the technology field don't look for college degrees but there are other fields like this that don't you don't need any you know secondary schooling to you know actually progress anywhere a lot of companies sometimes just look for experience or certifications or anything along those lines so in reality it's not really that important to have a college degree especially if you have a lot of job experience behind you. So why do so many people nowadays advocate to go to college right when you get out of high school? I think this is actually um, a very good question um, because a lot of people don't actually ask this. Like, why do so many people advocate for college? Because it's really just one of those things like everyone, everyone has a college degree, so I guess I should get one as well. And I think that's a really dumb mentality because it just sort of feeds into this sort of vicious cycle. But the reason a lot of people actually advocate for college, colleges and universities, um, I guess the reason why teachers, counselors, and principals, and anyone in a high school would recommend you go to college is because it makes the high school money. And what do I mean by that? Well, for every student from that high school that goes up to a university, even if they drop out, you know, a month in or two years in or whatever, the school gets funding for the amount of students that actually go to university. So they're actually going to advocate for you to go to college no matter what, because they make the money. And I've had, I know plenty of people who they have no idea what job they're going to do, no clue whatsoever, and they're going to college to do to pursue a career that they don't even care about and get a degree in something they honestly don't even care about, like don't care about either. And I think it's a very dangerous thing to do that. I mean, of course, there are times when degrees are required. For example, um, university professors. I'm pretty sure that's self-explanatory. If you work at a university, you should you know, know all the content uh, at that university or in your field, at least. Another one where it's probably necessary is doctors, dentists, you know, medical workers in general. I think that's actually not bad. But there are plenty other fields, like I'd say another one is engineering, where really it's not actually, you don't actually learn that too much in engineering. I mean, of course, there are, you know, important things, like, for example, mechanical engineering. Heat transfer is a very good thing to know, and um, tolerances, like, but you eventually gain that knowledge from the job, from the job itself. So really, um, colleges don't really do that much in the long term. And of course, there are, there's, there's useless majors as well. Um, I don't really want to tackle these because I know some people get very defensive about their majors, but I'm sorry, but music majors, art majors, like anything that's sort of like the arts, I guess. I, I, I can't justify it, so I don't know what to say, but I, I personally think they're very useless majors. Uh, Even things like, to some degree, like philosophy, math, like math majors, like, 
Math is a good thing to know, but a math major, you're not going to get a job by being a math major. I'm sorry. And a, a lot of other like theoretical majors that don't really have practical applications, I think, aren't really that useful. So really, the biggest reason why you shouldn't go to college if you don't have to is time and money. These are two huge things. Because you're taking, if you're getting a bachelor's degree, you're taking four years out of your life. Although there are different degrees, like associates, which is just two years. A master's, which is one to two years on top of a bachelor's. And then there's a PhD, which is a bachelor's, a master's. And then you get a PhD, which takes anywhere from one to four-ish years, depending on what you do. So that's a lot of time. You can do a lot with that time and probably even make more money than the time you're putting into it. Another, another very big thing is money. You're going to be spending a lot of money at universities, especially universities. Some uh, colleges, uh, community colleges are cheaper and they're probably actually um, a good choice. There are some community colleges out there that are fairly cheap and I would say actually almost worth it um, sometimes. A lot of universities charge outrageous prices. Like there's a university across the state from me and their tuition is $50,000 a year. Now that is insane. That's $50,000 a year. That is uh, crazy. I mean, granted it is a private, uh, private university, but there's no way people should be paying that much for an education. That is just way too much. And some public universities, you go like fifteen thousand, twenty thousand a uh, a year, or sometimes even semester. It's it's all over the place, honestly. Like I said, though, community colleges are cheaper. Like I think um, a community college that I know of offers offers an entire degree for only like a few thousand, which is pretty good. But honestly, unless unless you're getting your education paid for, a lot of times it's not actually worth it. And besides, you can make, a lot of times, you can just make a living normally. And when I mean normally, I mean like trade jobs. Uh, a lot of people very, uh, very much frown upon trade jobs. Uh, they're sort of seen as like low class citizens. But you can actually make a decent amount of money from working in a trade. If you, if you move into a small town and you're a plumber or an electrician, you are going to be making a lot of money. Or even like working HVAC or really like, like other basic trades. Like, I even know some people who do t make do tutoring full time, or I also know people who just do odd jobs and just make you know little bits of money that slowly add up. So it's a really you really have choice when it comes to making money and your job and all that. And I think a very big reason why uh, you shouldn't go to college is it's overrated in the sense that everyone has a degree. Everyone has a degree. Um, or at least a bachelor's degree or something along the lines, on those lines. Like, you're not going to stand out that much. And if anything, I would say that no degree probably stands out more than having an actual degree. Okay, well, I think it'd be safely said that college is not the best choice for a certain, uh, a decent amount of people, honestly. And really, if you feel pressured into, the, you know, going to college, it's not really something you have to do. It's very much expected of society nowadays. It's really um, not necessary um, that everyone has to get a college degree. But that's just my spiel on it. I'm just hoping that people don't make mistakes and waste money and time with college when they really don't need to. So, yeah, that's really it. I'll see you guys later.